Hello guys, greetings from Kharkov, Ukraine. My name is Svetlana Mucha and I am the leading matchmaker and dating coach at Diola.com. Today I would like to speak about toxic women. How to understand that a beautiful creature in front of you is actually toxic and it is better to avoid her. Let me give you four red flags. The first red flag. A toxic woman is really cold. Pretty often guys confuse her coldness with uh, being unique, unusual, super special. And they see an extra challenge. They want to win this ice princess and to melt her heart. And without thinking twice, they accept this challenge. The problem is, it is actually impossible to win the cold woman. She is cold not because she is waiting for a super special guy to melt her heart. She can assume that she is actually waiting for someone special who will melt her heart and who would be like really the strongest, the best. But after all, deep inside her soul, she understands that there is no such guy on this planet that is actually worth her. She understands that men exist only to please her and to try to win her over. That's her philosophy. The cold woman is cold because she is unable of actually producing love of loving anybody else except for herself. The heart of the cold woman is already taken. She is in love with herself. So after investing lots of time and energy into trying to warm the heart of the cold woman, usually guys give up and realize that it is pointless and there is no way you can win her over. The cold woman is really sure that all men on this planet exist to please her to uh, fulfill all her demands and to make her life easier. The second red flag that should warn you that this is the really toxic woman in front of you is the fact she is sucking up your energy and she is not giving anything in return. I'm sure you realize that all healthy and strong relationships should be built on mutual exchange of energy. You should inspire each other to be a better version of yourself. In relationship it is important that two partners really support and really care about each other. Pretty often, like uh, toxic exotic flowers, uh, pretty women have a really beautiful exterior. So guys get mesmerized by the looks of the toxic woman. Uh, they don't feel it at the very beginning that uh, this toxic woman is sucking their energy up. He starts dating this beautiful creature and out of a sudden he notices that, well, at work, Everything is going not as smoothly as it used to be. He doesn't feel as strong, his level of energy is really low, he doesn't feel himself inspired and active as he used to be. He's investing so much time and energy into entertaining a lady next to him, into making her smile, making her being happy, and he doesn't actually receive anything in return. Well, maybe he received a beautiful body uh, and some hot sex, but this is it. He doesn't receive any actual kindness, any warmth of the soul. Toxic women, they usually choose the best men, those who have like huge resources of energy, guys who are successful professionally. After they get from the gentleman all that energy, all those resources, she's moving on. She's moving on to another guy, to another victim. Uh, because she can't really exist without a guy. She needs his energy to live her life fully. That's her philosophy of life, that's her way of life. Which leads us to the third red flag about toxic women. Toxic women, they parasitize. They are not sufficient enough to live on their own. They have to rely in everything on the man next to them. I get it, it's so nice to ask your man to fix the tire or to change the light bulb. Like, we ladies hate doing that and we are not strong enough physically pretty often to do it on our own. But it is one thing to ask your man to do something which you can't endeavor because it is his uh, zone of expertise, because he is strong and has more experience in something it's another scene when a lady literally can't do anything without a man. I will give you an example. You want to combine going on a conference and taking a vacation with the lady you really like. You invite her over, let's say, in Europe. So you're at the conference and you start receiving SMS from this lady 
and she literally doesn't know how to entertain herself. She starts blaming you that you are at the conference and she feels so lonely and she doesn't know what to do, she is in the new city, she doesn't know where to go eating, she can't afford her dinner, which is ridiculous. You have paid for her hotel and for her airline tickets and she can't spend like $20 for a meal. Ah, that's unrealistic. Or for example, you apply for the visa and she doesn't know how to translate her documents, she can't fill in any forms, uh, she asks you to do everything and she literally doesn't want to be responsible for anything. So often guys confuse it uh, with being super feminine, with letting guy take the lead. Guys, being toxic and parasitizing on a guy has nothing to do with being traditional or super feminine. So often guys like the fact that, oh, she can't do this, I'm this strong, I can help her, I feel more mature next to such a girl because I can endure what she can't. But this feeling would be short term and the end of the day you will be tired that you will have to be responsible for everything. Literally you will have to fulfill all her needs and when you won't do it you will receive a huge scandal. You don't want this headache. So when you hear from the girl that she doesn't know how to do this, how to achieve that, how to do anything, that's a huge red flag. Don't go there, you will face a toxic woman. And the fourth red flag. Toxic women are super jealous. So often guys feel super flattered that a beautiful girl he is into feels jealous about him. In his mind it means that she is into him, she finds him super hot, super handsome, super attractive, super everything. But when the girl you have started dating feels jealous to your matchmaker, to the person who has introduced you to this girl, that's a big red flag. When she feels jealous to your dog, to your cat, to your sister, to the waitress, to all female population around you, well, I would think twice about dating such a lady. Yes, I get it, you can tell me that jealousy means that she is really into the guy, that she is in love with him. But at the end of the day, in two, three, four months, you will see that her jealousy will grow. If you want to have a few scandals per day uh, because you have smiled to the waitress or you have been polite to the old lady on the train station, then you can go and date a really toxic woman. Pretty often it is uh, quite complicated to understand if the lady will be jealous or not. Uh, you can uh, find this out only after you have started dating her. I have seen it a few times uh, within my matchmaking career. We introduce a gentleman to a lady and out of a sudden she tells uh, her boyfriend that oh, don't communicate with Svetlana, don't communicate with anybody in Ukraine, befriend the interpreter that has helped us during our first date. Why? Of course you can tell me that she feels insecure. Yes, she feels insecure and she worries that the gentleman can choose another girl. But do you really want that in your future relationship? The smart thing would be to read on this girl and to try to talk to her. But if you see that she doesn't follow any logic, well, maybe that's the right time to move on and to start dating someone else. Guys, I hope you really like the new format of our short videos. I hope it was both useful and entertaining for you. And I hope that while dating, while dating different ladies, you will face very few toxic ladies and lots of wonderful girls. I wish you love. Svetlana Mucha from Zola.com.